We're just going to go ahead and install Visual Studio Code. Just pick the options that suit you. Once that's completed, just go ahead and launch. I'm going to install a couple of extensions, namely LiveShare from Microsoft. And I'm just going to go ahead and install some extensions. LiveShare from Microsoft. I'll use this to share a development environment. And I'm going to grab Dent Rainbow just to make it look neater for the indentations in the code. Okay, with that installed, we're going to check Visual Studio. Make sure we've got the correct compiler available for our C compiler or CL.exe. So go ahead, either install Visual Studio, build tools, or modify and make sure you've got the desktop development C installed. Otherwise, you won't have the CL. Once that's complete, just go ahead and load up the developer command prompt. And actually check, make sure you've got CL accessible. There you go. And then we can do where the CL is. And where VS dev, that's our bat file. So we can add it to Visual Studio Code. So we've got that location. Remember it for later. So once we're there, we're going to do our here and preferences and open settings. So you open the settings, it's UI version, then we'll switch to the JSON at the top corner here. And I'll use the text editor, and from here we'll start adding our configurations so we can add the developer command prompt as a terminal. This settings allows us to pass us pass the current working directory when you've opened the folder in Visual Studio Code to directly to the terminal. So it opens at the correct location. These next ones just allow us to add the developer command prompt as a terminal within Visual Studio itself. So we can say it, call it developer command prompt, call it anything you want, but it's usually sensible to call it something sensible. We'll give our path, that's what terminal we're going to execute the command prompt with, which is just command.exe. Give it the arguments. slash k and then give it the path to the bat file that we had a second ago. We'll come back and add that. And it's the working directory, current working directory, where you're going to use the variable from before. It's created. So we've got everyone, go ahead and let's take in the path to the bat file, vs dev command dot bat. And remember we're going to have to escape out the slashes you can use where, copy it out, paste it in there, and then escape our slashes by doing a double slash.
now we've got that go ahead and save it that does set up our settings now for to actually use the build program prompt within visual studio code so go ahead and open a folder so we set a current working directory i'm going to use the demo test folder it's got nothing in it yep of course i'm going to trust myself i'm going to go ahead and open a terminal now this will open the start the default terminal you can set it to whatever you want but it's well, it's usually set as partial but we can go ahead and open the developer command prompt there we go within visual studio code now let's check to make sure cl worked there we go so we can go ahead do a main.c file once we do that it'll ask us if we want to install the c and c plus plus extensions of course we do we use them for the intellisense and stuff you cannot use the debugger in this method you need to run that within the developer command prompt to get access to the debugger but once that's installed we'll go ahead and do a whole world have our hello world now again this program has a purpose test the developing environment because when using int main we're going to return something to it go ahead we can show that this should actually execute it but you can't unless you execute it from within the developer command prompt but we can still run it from the command line so we've got cl you can do cl main dots main like our main is o and what we want to output main and then the file we're going to compile there we go we've compiled main.exe we can go ahead and run it and we have our whole world our environment set up 